Hello? Raccoons. Hey. I I can't see anything. Hmm. Can you can you see anything? It's very, very dark. Oh wait, there's there's Bible Betty. But what's she doing sitting in the dark? Hmm. Oh, I think I know. We are going to tell you the story of creation. The story of God making everything. So this is what it was like before he created anything. There was nothing. No light, no dark, no animals, no planets, no you, no me, nothing. So this is the story of creation. Let's see if I can find it. God said, let there be light. <gasps> and there was light. This is what he did on the first day. On the second day, God said, let there be clouds and sea. On the third day, God said, let there be land, plants, and trees. On the fourth day, God said, let there be a sun, moon, and stars. On the fifth day, God said, let there be creatures in the, in the sky and in the sea. On the next day, God said, let there be animals on the land and let us make man in our image. God saw all that he had made and it was very good. So on the seventh day, he rested. So what does that mean? says, do you like to make crafts or bake cookies? It's fun to use materials like paper and glue or ingredients like flour and eggs and maybe even chocolate chips to make something new. We create whenever we make something new out of items we already have. So God the creator made the heavens and the earth and he made everything out of nothing. No one else could ever do that. The very first name in our Bible is Elohim, which means the highest, no one better. Only God could create our beautiful and wonderful world. So as you studied your planets this week, keep in mind that God not only created us and our animals and our planet, I mean our animals and and humans and our plants but he created everything even everything out in the universe all right remember genesis 1 1 in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth Betty.